That's right, Paul Pat. Last week, Paul's gone. Two storms moved through. This week, he's back, and we've just got beautiful weather the rest of the week. Hard to believe, but you're right. It's going to get even better. That's, I feel like, even warmer weather than we had out there today. Uh, the only little thing that we'll be dealing with are just some clouds at the coast, uh, even some dense fog just at night and in the morning hours. But overall, wherever you are, you will have above average temperatures. And as I said, by the end of the week and the weekend, even warmer temperatures on tap. I'll have more on that coming up in just a few minutes. Pat, back to you. All right. Uh, we will take a look at all of that. Uh, first off, we'll start with our weather. We are looking live. This is Malibu and what a difference it's been at the coast to further inland. Uh, inland, it's sunny and warm still into the 80s right now. But as we look in Malibu, temperatures are down into the 50s and we've got this marine layer that did burn off for a couple hours today, uh, but it is moving back in and along the coast. You can expect some low clouds and even some dense fog, so visibility will will stay right around a quarter mile by early tomorrow morning. So what a difference temperature wise from Malibu, where we just showed you to Riverside, where temperatures are into the upper 70s uh, just about uh, 10 minutes ago, still into the 80s there. So those temperatures are dropping. We've got an onshore flow right now, so that's going to bring our temperatures down at night, but very warm during the daytime hours. In fact, even warmer weather headed our way. Looking at the winds right now, again, we do have the onshore flow, so winds basically coming in out of the west southwest, and we will see that marine layer push in overnight tonight through tomorrow morning. A uh, ridge of high pressure in place, and that's the reason for our beautiful weather. It's weakening just a bit as an area of low pressure passes to our north. It's not going to have a big impact on our weather. What it's going to do just right around for your Wednesday is drop those temperatures down just a tad and deep in the marine layer, most likely Tuesday night into Wednesday morning. But this ridge of high pressure will build back in, and that's why by the end of the work week and into the weekend, we've got even warmer temperatures headed our way. We're looking at temperatures running at least 10 to 15 degrees above average. Let's take another look at the line of storms right now where they are. Uh, there's currently no severe thunderstorm warnings in place, but there was one uh, just a bit ago in South Texas, right around Brownsville, a very strong thunderstorm cell that is now pushed off into the Gulf of Mexico. But you can see the showers and thunderstorms again, nothing like what we saw this weekend. So the good news is, is that line is starting to weaken. Uh, tomorrow morning, we will have some patchy dense fog at the coast. West winds will be between about five to 10 knots. Surf will be two to three feet and swells will be out of the west three to five feet. A quick look at your extended forecast. What a gorgeous extended forecast it is. Temperatures tomorrow similar to what we had out there today. Just some morning clouds, just mainly at the coast. Inland and in the valleys, you'll just see sunny skies. Temperatures will be into the mid 80s in those valleys. Uh, by tomorrow. So Wednesday, that's when the ridge breaks down just a tad and that area of low pressure passes to our north. So from the coast to the basin, temperatures will be down just about four to five degrees, uh, but still lovely. And then by the weekend, 90s in the valley locations and gorgeous conditions at the coast. Paul, back to you. All right.